everyone and welcome yourselves back to the channel and back for episode three of Tales of the Jedi Choices featuring Count Dooku and Mace Windu. Subscribe and like as always, spoilers ahead and let's dive into episode three, the halfway point. So again, very short episode, but you know, because they are short. But an enjoyable episode to see Dooku and Windu team up for the first time ever rather than fighting against each other. And we get to see, you know, basically what it's all about. And what I loved about this episode the most is Dooku basically has his own method against what the Jedis would normally do. But what baffles me about this is, you know, because they go to the crime scene and the, they, you, as fans, you realize it's probably the guards who are behind it and they are behind it. Or, you know, something suspicious is going on with the group. Um, the senator dude is randomly killed uh, because they tried to kill these other Jedis. And for some whatever reason, Windu is praised when going back after another you know, to defeat these people. And even though Windu kills one of them, it's baffling. Dooku, you know, puts his lightsaber up to one of them. Windu puts his lightsaber up. Windu accidentally kills one of them. But when they go back to Coruscant, Windu is praised and honoured with a membership on the council, whereas Dooku isn't. Even though Dooku dealt with the situation better, he handled it better, he found out the truth, he's the one who figured the whole situation out, and yet Windu was praised. So this is what I, I talked about in the last episode. You know, Dooku is someone who sees things easy enough. He's the one who's like, you know, the senator was in the wrong. He's treating these people wrong. Dooku will deal with things how he does. He did the exact same in this episode. He knew, you know, they were being betrayed by their own people. He put it into their own hands. He didn't kill anyone that what that you know, unprovoked. The other people were attacking him. He defended himself. Windu did the exact same thing. But because Windu killed the person and he's not told anyone, Dooku has just let you go. So you knew about this before we even traveled. And it's like, I can't help but not hate Windu. You know, Windu and the Jedi are being shown for their true colours, in a sense. You know, a colour that Anakin, you know, exposed in the third film. This is why I love Star Wars. It's always like, is Dooku in the right? Because he sees the Jedi, the Senator, and everyone else, what they truly are. And has an open mind about things. It's not necessarily about working for the Emperor, in a sense. Because, um... I'm, this sort of makes it even sadder when Dooku's killed at the start of number three because he was probably playing the Emperor, he was playing the Jedi, he has his own verdicts on life. And the difference between him and Windu is Windu was always going to get on the council. Dooku, because of his ways and because of how headstrong he is and the, the way he thinks different from the Jedi, they were never going to trust him because he was unreliable in a sense. But I just love how they showed it, how, you know... As much as both of them were provoked, Dooku's the one who gets the worst punishment in a sense. I, not I see it on the council. It's just so well written, so well put together, so well orchestrated. I loved how they're showing. I'd, I, I'd love to see a Dooku show. I think that's what they probably are leaving towards, you know, what's popular. Uh, like I love the first episode, don't get me wrong. But what we've seen, you know, his relationship with Qui-Gon, the way he deals with the Senator in Episode 2, the way he teams up with Windu in this episode and th takes things into his own hands, and he's failed by the Jedi and said, Windu did it all, you didn't do anything. It's so good. I hope we see a Dooku show in, in a year or so, you know, maybe that's what they're working on. Maybe it was like, test the waters, let's see what Dooku's... There's obviously a reason, because we've seen Ahsoka's journey in this form, you know, in the last couple of episodes in Clone Wars, so maybe they could do pre Phantom Menace Dooku, and we know he turns evil. I think you think he faces Yaddle in Episode Four, so maybe they've skipped over it. But I would love to have seen a Dooku show. But you know, never say never. Dave Filoni is a genius. He knows what he's doing. He is a god in the Star Wars universe. So never say never. A fantastic episode. I can't wait to watch the final three episodes. So stick around for those. Subscribe and like as always. Let me know down below in the comments your thoughts on Tales of Jedi Episode Three. And until next time, goodbye. Thank you.